Hi, I'm Blaine Chastain. I'm an Irish flute player and educator. Today we're going to take a look at how to maintain your wooden flute. After playing, swab the board to get rid of any excess moisture. I use a silk flute swab guided through with a wooden cleaning rod. It's okay if the board is slightly damp. We just want to get rid of the larger drops of condensation. For the head joint, I make a bundle out of the swab on the end of the cleaning rod and twist it around a few times. For keyed flutes, you'll want to make sure that you don't get oil on the keypads. I prefer to take all the keys off as it makes working with the flute less cumbersome. Alternatively, you can cover the pads with plastic wrap. Consult the maker of your flute as to what oil they recommend and whether or not you should apply it to the outer surfaces. Here I'm using almond oil with a bit of vitamin E to help keep it from spoiling. Avoid areas such as corked or threaded tenons, sockets, and repaired cracks as the oil could compromise the repair. Cotton swabs are handy for applying oil to the tone holes and embouchure. If you have time, let the flute absorb the oil for a few hours before removing the excess. I like to use my silk swab to clear the excess oil from the bore. The oil left on the swab aids in conditioning the bore during future swabbings. For the exterior, I use an old cotton t-shirt. Using a clean cotton swab, remove the excess oil from the tone holes and embouchure. When reassembling keys, the end of your wooden cleaning rod can assist in gently pushing pins back into place. If your slide needs grease, first clean both the inside of the barrel end and the outside of the head joint end with a clean paper towel. Using a small amount of slide grease, coat the inside of the barrel end evenly. This method allows for any excess grease to be pushed out into the inside of the barrel upon assembly and can be easily wiped away. Apply grease to corked tenons whenever they feel dry. This keeps the cork from absorbing excess moisture and swelling while playing. The distance between the face of the head joint cork and the center of the embouchure should be equal to the inner diameter of the head joint bore. Correct placement of the head joint cork is critical for both intonation and tone. Placing the cork a bit upstream can strengthen the lower register slightly, but go too far and your second register will play relatively flat. I like to keep my flutes in an environment with a relative humidity level of 45 to 55 percent. As I live in a dry climate, I store them in an airtight container with a damp sponge that functions as a passive humidifier. For passive humidification on the go, poke holes in a small plastic bag with a damp sponge inside and place it in a case that is relatively airtight.